Hello, uh, good morning, if you're in my time zone. I want to do a really quick video because I found an issue with my computer. I was playing some video games, Factorio, and it kept crashing on me. And so I found that my memory was all in standby. So I restarted the computer, it worked fine, no more crashes. And I was editing some videos today, and it was running sluggish, and I looked and found that almost all of my RAM was in standby. When you look closer, it says microsoft.photos.exe is what's chewing up the RAM. Now that, that, I don't ever use Microsoft Photos. That, that's, I did some looking online and it seems like it has a, a leak, a memory leak. So we're going to go through how to uninstall it. Now if you pull up your uninstall programs in your uh, control panel, you'll see microsoft.photos.exe is not in here. So we need another option. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Windows, the Windows key and Q. That's going to pull up your start menu, which you can't see. It's on my left screen, but go to your start menu and in the search bar, type in PowerShell. PowerShell, Windows PowerShell will come up on the top. Right click and go to run as administrator. That will bring up this Windows PowerShell window. Ooh. What you want to do with that is type in the following, and these instructions are in the description. You want to type in get app x package. Press enter. That will bring up a list of all the apps, or all the apps that are running on your system. What's the technical definition? This command will output a long list of all installed apps containing lots of information about each app. So, all right, that's all fine and dandy. Let's type the same thing, get appx package. And this time we'll put the, um, whatever the thing is, a little vertical line. Put a vertical line, type in select name, comma, package full name. What did I type wrong? Ah, there was no space between select and name. Okay, select name, comma, package full name. That will return the same list just with the name and package full name. So what we're going to do is go down to where it says microsoft.photos.exe. That's going to be the same thing that we find here in the resource manager. microsoft.photos.exe. We're going to find that here. Microsoft.windows.photos, right? That's the one we want. Microsoft.windows.photos. So scroll all the way over and select the package full name. Right here, Microsoft.windows.photos. Select this whole thing, Control C. That's gonna copy it. So now to uninstall it, we're gonna type get appx P A C K A G E get apex package space paste that what you just copied in there that's gonna be the package full name with the little up and down line remove dash apex package right push enter that should have removed it so now we run that again. We will look. Where was Microsoft Windows Photos? It would appear it's still in there. I guess maybe we needed to put this this name in there. Let's copy that one. See if that works. So I'll go to what we just typed in. Remove all of this and just paste that one. So now we'll run that list again. You can see, okay, so you wanted to select the name in the left column, name. And it is now removed. If we look back here, it'll show it's now grayed out. And if I reboot my computer, that should not return. So uh, I hope that was, that was a little quick video to give you all the knowledge that I just found. And I hope that speeds up your system. That's a Windows 10 issue. It's got a memory leak from what I've read. And yeah, uh, like, like the video if this was helpful. 
Uh, leave a comment if this is something that you didn't know. I'd be curious to know if this if this video helped anybody. And thank you for watching.